I said top five. This could be the best one I've had. Of both of them, Patsyu and Ladna. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today I am back doing what I do best. I'm back on the streets of Tonbury in Bangkok on the hunt for street food. Today I'm taking you to an area that I've never taken you to before that is absolutely packed full of Thai goodies. We're starting off just down the road from MRT Tapra on the busy Chalan Sanit Wong Road where we're gonna be grabbing a classic Thai street snack as well as some unbelievable Radna gravy noodles. We're then gonna be taking a little detour off the main road down the canals to see what other goodies we can find. Let's go. All right, so I've had a few messages and comments saying I never eat anything sweet and I don't ever eat canom grok. So today, that's what we're starting with. So the two stalls we're going to first, the canom grok and the radna, are right outside Jalan Sanit Wong, Nung Tap Nung, one slash one. All right, so these are little, I'm gonna call them coconut puddings. They're coconut milk, rice flour, and sugar, batter, cooked in one of these cast iron pans. Usually, strangely for us Westerners, they're either topped with Khao Pod, which is sweet corn, or Ton Hom, which is spring onion. You can't see it because they're like in little little balls, but usually they've got spring onions in it. Oh, there's a little remnant of a spring onion there. A bit more coconut milk on the top. Ton Hom. เอ่อผสมได้มั้ยเอาผสมนะเอามะพร้าวเอาข้าวโพดเอาทอนหอมนะครับนึ่งคลองนะครับนี่ที่ข้าวบาดครับผมจะพี่เชื่ออะไรคร
This is the sign of a man who's been doing this for 20 years. Look, not dropping a bit on the floor, look. Can you imagine what this would be like if I was doing it? He's cracking those eggs in. So my top tip guys is always, if you're going to eat pad you always come to our Radna shop because this is like a marriage made in heaven. In goes those pre-fried soy saucy noodles. I'm gonna go in with a pakana in a minute. Look at that. Just cooking that kana for a couple of seconds. Now he's going in with the leaf. A little bit of sugar. Any any gijana? Gijana? Songjana? Big old portions. Look at the char on this, guys. All right, while we're waiting for Uncle, uh, Radna and Pad to you, I'll show you these little bad boys. So these are the coconut ones, as you can see, just that coconut, that fresh coconut's just melted underneath all that coconut milk filling oh. we've got some which is taro ton hom which is a bit weird this is spring onion it's a bit weird for us I say weird but I mean it's weird for us Westerners having spring onion in a what is actually a sweet and then sweet corn which I can understand a little bit more because obviously it's sweet but still a bit strange for us. I want to try the coconut one first just so I can get a feel of how they taste without anything on. I mean there's not there's not much not to like. It's a it's a sweet, creamy, crunchy on the outside coconut pudding. Great little snack, white sweet. The inside is coconut milk, sugar, and rice flour. Right, taro, these should be okay as well because I've had sweet taro loads. Mm. All right, that one works actually, I'll take that. Taro is really nice if you have it savory, like if you have them fried like chips or french fries for you guys. But it also works really well in sweet dishes like bualoi, they use a lot of taro for. Right, sweet corn, which is bordering on a little bit strange for me. I can see it, I can see why people eat it because as I said, sweet corn is sweet, but I'm so used to having sweet corn in salads and in savory dishes that that throws me off a little bit. The other thing I'm used to having in, in salads is uh, spring onion. It's not for me because it's sweet and then you've got the onion flavour. Kind of reminds me of when you order fruit, like down on one of the islands and they cut it up with the same knife they've just used for the onions. Nah, not for me. But if it wasn't sweet and it was just coconut, that I could deal with. All right, the main course has arrived. All right, so here's that radna. And what puts off a lot of Westerners especially, uh, and it put me off for years eating this, is that almost like snotty consistency of the of the gravy but once you get your head around that I promise you you'll be eating this every single time you see it I eat it every Sunday it's my new Sunday Sunday dinner absolutely love it so we've got the marinated pork that's just been marinated in a little bit of sugar uh, probably some fish sauce and flour to keep those juices in you've got that crunchy pakana the Chinese kale and then he, cooked the, he put the leaves in afterwards so not to overcook them. So everything's just been cooked. You've got the noodles, 
that have been charred off just with a little bit of soy sauce on. All right, here comes the patsy yu. Cup. Cup on cup. What? Now check the chart on this. This is why I say come to our Radna shop for your patsy yu. Absolutely every single piece of this charred to perfection. Wow. Again, that crunchy veg. Let me taste a little bit of this. I'm going to start with the radna. This is one of my favorite dishes, as I said. Used to really stay away from this dish, and now I eat it all the time. Every time I see one, I eat it. Mmm. Hyper, hyper savory from that tao jiao, that bean sauce. You try the pork. The pork is just melts in your mouth, super, super tender. And that's just where he's marinated the pork so it's almost brined. Then the flour is giving it like a, like a coating so the juices can't escape. And where he's almost poaching the pork in with the cooking liquor, ridiculous. I'm gonna pimp it a bit. Chili flakes. We're gonna add some of our chili vinegar. And if you want it, if it's not salty enough, you've also got soy sauce. We won't touch the sugar. All right, so now we've got the vinegar, the chili in there. Now, sometimes Ladna can border on being a little bit too sweet for me. Shock. This one is not sweet. There's a bit of sweetness there, but most of it is just savory from the yellow bean, the tao jiao and the soy sauce. But now sweet spicy mm. you've got the most amazing smoky flavor coming off the fried noodles all right on to the pad all right well look at that the chart is ridiculous what mm. Oddly enough though, this one's a lot sweeter than that. I did see him put like a tablespoon almost of sugar in with two portions of pad so You've got like a teaspoon and a half of sugar probably in each one. I could have told him not to put that on, but we can, we can fix. You want to dress these up however you want. It's a little bit sweet, so I am going to tone that down a bit. Stick on a little bit of soy sauce as well. All right, again, now you've got the chili vinegar and the soy sauce. That is mind-blowingly good. I know Chak Wei Diao in Malaysia is one of the most well-known dishes in the world, but for me, a well-done pad to you, it's up there. It's absolutely amazing to me how he keeps the pork so tender. And where it's all stir-fried in pork fat, just a layer of richness is unbeatable. That's, the, that's perfect for me. When you, get the, when you get the chart on the egg as well, this is easily slipped into my top five, Radna in bangers. When I say it's too sweet, it, I don't mean you guys are gonna find it too sweet. It's, it's, it's less sweet than a lot of pads you have had. Just for me, I'd, I'd like it with no sugar, because the dark soy sauce has already got sugar in it, or molasses. But like if I took Helen down here, she'd probably eat three of these. I said top five, this could be the best one I've had. Of both of them, had to you and Ladna. That's it, how about now? Wait, I like it. I need Ladna to Nung, Nung. Nung Ladna, your pack. Fair. Any? Lung, Nung. Yeah? Go on, go. Bye bye. Go on, Marco. So we could just walk just down there and jump on the MRT there. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the next right. There's some street art that I want to show you. We'll drink our drink. We'll have a little walk around and we'll see what we can find. Buddy cup. So look, you don't even have to leave this area. Get off the train station. Get your coconut pudding. Get your radna. And then we'll get a chai yin thai. Oh, chai yin thai. 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 
วัน 10% ครับ Look at this proper So again, for all you people that say I don't ever get and don't support the local coffee stores, I do occasionally get a Thai iced tea. Look at that, a little bit of evaporated on the top. Come on, come. Come to your life, come. Janyapon, come. Janyapon. Janyapon. Okay, Yindi tea, Dai Luo Jang, come. Come on, come. Prime example of why I love coming to these. If you will, off the beaten path places in Bangkok. Although this is, to, to, all Thai people know this, but uh, no Falang know this place really, apart from my little mate Ellis. But you're, that's what you're met with. You're met with smiles, sometimes a little bit of intrigue. Like some of you, I know, are going to comment probably saying, "Oh, Uncle wasn't very friendly." Wasn't that he wasn't friendly? He was just like, "What are you doing here? Why do you want to film me? Like you little weirdo." But. Um, Hopefully he likes the video. Anyway, we're down the little canal side community that we're gonna have a little walk down. I wanna show you this street art, it's unbelievable. I'm never quite sure about filming down these places because these are just people's houses. So it is a little bit weird, but I just love it. Look at all these colorful railings and walkways. There's always something down these little back alley, back canals. See, much better than going to in Asok, isn't it? And going to Terminal 21 or M Courtier or somewhere like that. Get out and see a bit. Bangkok Yay. This is brilliant. I'd love to know who did this. This is obviously the same people. This is unreal. I mean, this is something else, isn't it? Look how colourful it is down here. I mean, I know this isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea. Somebody cup? Uh, I know this isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea, but... I love it. And even down these sort of places, people look at you funny, but it's never like, oh, get out of here, what are you doing here? It's literally like, what are you doing here, you silly felon? I think this might actually be worth a full video. I think we may have to come down here and explore properly. Again, I love Klong, so do I. I love the canals. All right, so I think if we walk all the way to the end of this canal, we are actually going to end up at the artist house, Bang Luang, which is one of the coolest places I've been in Bangkok. Right, we've come to the end of the colourful bit. I'm not sure, actually sure where that goes. So what we're going to do, I'm going to head up there to the end, turn left, and I think that is going to take us to the artist house. I'm not sure if I've mentioned how hot it actually is at the moment. Um, unbearable heat. This is the hottest I've ever been anywhere, not just in Bangkok in seven years. And all of my Thai friends have said they've never known anything like this either. It is absolutely sweltering. Okay, thank you, nah. Thank you. Yeah, straight ahead. Down a road with more food. Yeah, one for you, Joe Parilla. So just the sheer amount of food that I've walked past today shows you that you do not need to be listening to a YouTuber like me or Joe Parilla or anyone else. All you need to do is get out in your local area and go on a hunt. You will find some amazing stuff and some amazing people. All right, guys, I'm about to have a pit stop. Uh, I'm literally, I'm shaking like a leaf. Stop. Sugary drink, you're losing so much in this heat. I feel, oh, I love my job, but um, this is madness. Do you know, I don't want to start getting back into drinking these though. Because once I start, I'll be drinking, like after today, I'll probably drink this every day for like three weeks. All right, we've made it guys. A little bit out of breath. Oh, we made it. We'll come back and see these guys in a sec. Sadi Kab, Sadi Kab. We'll come back and see him in a sec. There's no way I'm walking home. Not sure why I made it my mission for this to be our end point. But I wanted to show you, a, I'm just going to show you a couple of seconds. Show you where I am. 
you need to come here if you're in Bangkok for sure. Right, see, if you're coming from the MRT station, you're going to come from the other side down here. How do you come? How do you come here? How do you come? Best mango sticky rice in the business here, guys. Also, unreal. Where Jab Nam Kwon, and they also do some of the best pad thai on the weekend you're likely to find in Bangkok. So this is it, guys. The artist house. They got a puppet show down there. Can link to my video to show you. All these tour boats go past. But if I was going to get a tour down here, I'll be going with Hidden Bangkok for sure. You can just walk around here. There's loads of food, loads of sweets, loads of good stuff. They've got a puppet show over there. Paddy Doyle did a video. I'll link that. All right, but that's about it from me, guys. Again, links to everywhere I went, as always, in the description box below. Thank you very much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next one.